Hello, my name is Bob Evans and I'm going to give you a quick overview of precast L-shaped retaining walls. So this is what a L-shaped retaining wall looks like and they come in three different uh, methods of construction. The modulus, the bolt down and the cast in. The modular type um, sits on hardcore or a concrete foundation. The bolt down is actually bolted down to the foundation to take um, greater loads and the cast in is a heavy duty retaining wall and the base is cast into a raft giving it greater strength. Let me show you some um, selection of retaining walls. So these are used for small domestic. Um, these are precast modular concrete retaining walls and they can come in various finishes including textured finishes. These are bolt down retaining walls for heavier loads. They're actually bolted down um, into, onto a concrete slab. And this one is cast in situ. And again, these are heavy duty retaining walls. And as you can see, they can be quite large. This is the design table for a bolt down type retaining wall. So we have the heights at the top, the width of the L shape and the length of the L shape, the unit weight of each L shape, the foundation base, width and depth, the surcharge we've allowed for. Uh, so you can see a basic design, the basic design principles. And then from this information, you would then been able to do some cost analysis. So this is just a reminder of the data used in the design. We highly recommend that you um, watch the design video to learn more about des the de design process. We have here a example to work out a budget. So from the designs in the table above, I've been able to create a bill of quantities and put together some costs. They're based on a wall over 50 linear meters long. So the wall has some scale. And the way you work it out is if you've got a wall two meters high and it's 100 meters long, that's 200 square meters. And the rate is 254 pounds square meter for a two meter wall, which is this one here. And then I've also given you labour plant and material calculations so you can actually work out the labour plants and materials. The units come in various standard sizes. So these are the standard sizes for the modular units, standard sizes for the bolt down units and standard sizes for cast in units. The units also come in um, corner sections like this which can be used for material bays and such like so the next step is if you have any questions please complete the form below or if you'd like a price please complete the price request form thank you for listening bye